Howdy partners and Spidey Scout members, my name is Mikhail Kanlit and welcome back to another episode of Arachnid Updates. Now, like I already said in my previous Arachnid Updates video, but it was a little long so maybe you didn't notice it. But anyways, Arachnid Updates has turned into more of a uh, analysis, uh, analyzing the game, like talking about it, and uh, my wish lists for future stuff, for future content, and the inevitable sequel, so just a heads up on that, it won't be... Um, mostly on news updates because of course the game is out because the DLC is out and a new DLC is coming soon this month so just saying that but if any uh, other big news arrives you will be sure to see it on Reacted Updates but without further ado today is going to be a very interesting episode and something I've been wanting to talk about for a while which is talking in depth about the game's combat Marvel Spider-Man's combat because a lot of people have compared it with the Arkham series and I want to do that and I just want to talk about what I love about it so much and what makes it so great and probably the best uh, superhero combat system probably the any combat system in a video game ever and um, just talk about that and I'd love to uh, talk with you guys in the comments please let me know what you think about that and without further ado we're gonna start by differentiating the combat with the Arkham series and see what's better what's uh, you know, worse, not that bad. If both of them are absolutely incredible uh, combat systems, but I just want to see what's different between them, what I prefer, and just uh, give my opinion and analyze both, and then I will talk about the Spider-Man combat in depth. So without further ado, let's get started. The first difference between uh, Arkham and Spider-Man, which is a big deal for me, is the arenas slash platforms that you fight in. In the Arkham series, it would be this huge circle or square type of uh, arena with no levels just a flat floor like that with lots of interactables well not actually not lots but you know a decent amount for you to interact with um, and the thing is you couldn't really walk or do any movement twice to finish your uh, like to continue your combo if you did that it would end your combo immediately um, and I guess that adds challenge to the player but me personally um, it kind of feels like off and whenever you do it accidentally you feel ah dang it you know like the those little things and just that just it's like a flat arena like that you can go up or down it feels a little mediocre mediocre but it makes sense for Batman it's very accurate and that's totally fine but in spider-man it's like a platform you can zip to high places go lower you can dodge jump as many times as you want no matter what you do just don't get hit and don't like not attack or dodge uh, for a while and you can still keep your combo no matter what you do you can still keep your combo and stay stylish while doing it it's a very very good way to keep you motivated let you experience like um experiment more with your moves gadgets etc um and that i feel is a little better than arkham um because sometimes you just want to you have to stay mega focused in arkham uh, just as much as spider-man don't uh don't get me wrong but there's something about Arkham that makes you want to keep doing the same moves, like, because you know you won't mess up. In Spider-Man, you can, um, kind of, like, exercise, like, stretch your muscles a little more, you know? Like, um, do what you want and just find out new things. That's my personal opinion on the arena, and I absolutely much prefer the arenas slash platforms uh, in the Spider-Man uh, combat levels. Small fact to talk about now is the um, environmental objects, like the environment to help you out in the combat. In Arkham, it was used mostly in, I believe, Arkham Knight. Uh, in Arkham Origins and City, you could counter uh, things that enemies throw at you, but in uh, Night, it was much more expanded where you could actually pick up any, like, baseball bat or pipe that was on the ground, and you could use it as a melee weapon for a couple of hits, and it would be easier to hit, like, big brutes, ho uh, bigger enemies, and uh, much easier to get out of, like, um, chokeholds with enemies. It was really cool and satisfying, and you could use electrical boxes, like, normal boxes on the ground, electrical points uh, and many others at any point uh, with uh, the press of two buttons that I really like but some of them you had to be close to and in spider-man you could use a lot I, I mean a lot of objects like mailboxes trash cans manholes uh, scaffoldings um, 
so much stuff that was put in the environment, in the open world, in, in like random alleyways and in scripted moments in the story. There would be so many you could use, and I love that you can use them at a distance on the ground and in the air. And depending if you're on the ground, you can swing it around to get some, uh, you know, uh, crowd control. And in the air, if you want to get it real quick, you can jump, catch it, do a somersault, and swing it at an enemy. In my opinion, it's cool that you have a little more control and um, you can do it uh, close and far. In Batman it's also really cool and satisfying but sometimes you have to be very close to the object. Uh, most stuff on the ground Batman will do a cool roll and you'll catch it in time or he'll slide across the room but still in my opinion Spider-Man wins this part. Now for the combat in general. Now I'll start with the finishes because that's one of the most obvious uh, things people compare to. Um, Circle and triangle are the two main buttons to activate a finisher, and I will admit in Batman they are better because of how it's so much more, there's so much more variety in them. To Spider-Man you can do them in the air and on the ground, but they're very little and they can sometimes get old. True, the animations and the vibration of the controller never get old to show how satisfying they are, but a little more variety and like much more in general would be awesome. And the reason why Batman's is so diverse and much more uh, expansive is because of how different enemies, different brutes, different types of enemies, different weapons and uh, arms they have on them, there'll be a different takedown every single time if an enemy has a like a blade, a shield, a knife, and that's like normal takedowns. Maybe you can use the special takedown to disarm and destroy whatever weapon they're using. It's so much more diverse in my opinion and that's why Batman takes the cake on the finishers. Uh, next up, uh, just in general, I feel like Spider-Man wins also because of, like I said, in the air and just how much like you can use your webs, your gadgets very quickly and the gadgets are for Spider-Man are a little like cooler. I mean, true, it's only webs, but the way they're used are cool. For Batman, I understand it's better because of how you can use the quick uh, fire gadgets with a quick um, mix of just L2 for a quick batarang or um, use... Um, L2 with an another button for like a, a quick explosive gel or quick bat claw. L those little things without interrupting it by showing the gadget wheel, I get why people can um, prefer that. But I love that, that Spider-Man, like I said, you can get the gadget wheel and it doesn't interrupt your combo and if you're very skilled and quick and know exactly where to choose your gadget, you can activate it in literally two microseconds and you can select your gadget and it seamlessly goes through and cool thing is you probably didn't know this if you double tap uh, L1 you can go to your two previous selected gadgets uh, while um, in a fight so if you're using two um, well used gadgets and that you know you can win the fight in I guess that's cool but for gadgets um, Batman wins because I, I know I said sp earlier probably uh, Spider-Man wins but um, Spider-Man it's actually hard to say, you know, I mean, Batman, of course, it's easier to use, so that's why I'm saying Batman wins, uh, Spider-Man or Batman, I, um, I like both ways to quickly activate the gadgets. Um, Batman, you can use them in different ways, for stunning, for making them hit other enemies, his gadgets are much more diverse. Spider-Man, they are cool, such as the web bomb and trip mine, but in the end, it's all about webbing up enemies really quickly and taking them out. Um, I get that. So th that one, I'm not sure, like I said, any uh, anything you'd like to talk to me about in these categories that you maybe disagree with or want to talk about, please let me in the co know in the comments, I'd like to chat with you guys. But this one's a little more of a debate with me, I can't really choose on this one. So to conclude, I will talk about my personal thoughts on the combat and why I prefer it uh, from Arkham in certain ways, and um, tell you guys why I think it's my f the, fa the best system I've ever played for combat. So I love how diverse it is. You can use air combat, ground combat, mix the two together, learn new stuff all the time, uh, and it seamless, like I said, seamlessly transitions. It looks so stylish, and it's just my kind of combat. It looks stylish, feels fast, feels powerful, and I always love testing my limits, testing myself, learning new things while playing the game. It's honestly the best thing, and Playing it with style, like Evan Flarka said, the best true way to play a Spider-Man game is playing it with style. The web slinging all, ha, completely wins that, but the combat does it on the same level. The, it's so 
so amazing it's so satisfying and just from you can you can web strike or just punch a dude slide under him or kick him away start air combat or in, air launch him if you slid under yank a guy once you're done with him from the air like it's so diverse so powerful and I, I can literally talk for so long about how diverse it is and how you can mix everything up and it and it truly never gets old if you know how to mix everything up on each individual encounter like when you're making videos and stuff so your viewers will never like feel annoyed by it because you play it differently with style each time and so your your viewers are amazed each time and that's what I intend to do when I make my uh, playthrough of the story etc that's why I prefer it like that in terms of Arkham both systems are amazing I loved Batman Batman system before this came out I played a lot of the Arkham uh, games before this came out and um, in terms of Arkham, I prefer this because in Arkham it's so much easier to lose your combo if you like counter too soon or did hit an hit tried to hit an enemy but you punched the air. It looks so embarrassing sometimes, but here you can um, stay a while without uh, losing your combo. You can walk around for a bit. Uh, you can maybe accidentally dodge like nothing, punch nothing, and it'll still keep it. And that's what I love. You can still look good while doing it, and you can still keep your counter and keep going, keep that flow. That's what I love about it. It's, it never stops. You never stop feeling powerful. Um, that's what I really love about it. In terms of Arkham, I maybe prefer it for the quick selection of gadgets and how each gadget feels really useful, and I try to use them all to look cool in the fight. And because, like I said, they're all useful. Spidey's gadgets are really useful and look cool, and I love how diverse they are, like I said, in terms of the web bomb and the trip mine. But they all come back to, like, making enemies float, pushing them away, or webbing them up, like, or electrocuting them. You know what, there actually is a bit of diversity with his gadgets. But may I maybe prefer Arkham's a little more, but I really do love both gadgets very much, and I love using all of them all the time. Like, it never, uh, none of them get old, none of them bother me, I don't prefer one over the other. Like I said, maybe a bit Arkham, but I'm, I'm changing my mind between recordings of this video, I'm really sorry. But that's personally how I feel, um, and that's why I prefer this per combat system over Arkham's for those specific reasons. Uh, maybe Arkham's, uh, yes, yes, Arkham's is better for the finishers, in my opinion, like I said, if it's disarm or destroy, it disarm and destroy, or just a takedown in general, there's so many more takedowns that you can use with your, um, it's not a focus bar, but with your counter in Arkham, I don't know what to call it, but uh, in Spider-Man it's, it's focus, and in Arkham it's your combo counter, you can use that to perform take many different takedowns, but for healing, it does it automatically here you need to manual he manually sorry heal and I feel like that's that adds challenge and I like that so that's maybe why I prefer Arkham in terms of the takedowns here it's also good but in in closing this is the best superhero uh, game combat system I've ever used and probably the best combat system I've ever played in a video game stat I love this combat system to death it never gets old it's my like it's I love it because it's my kind of style fast looks good feels powerful and you never like stop feeling powerful you never stop that's why I really really like it um, and I don't know if this like clouds my judgment but again this is my opinion I love to talk about it with you guys in the comment section please be civil though if anyone's gonna talk together in the comments when I'm not seeing please be civil with each other and if you want to discuss with me uh, please be civil with me please be civil with everyone that's that's you're doing yourself a very good favor whilst doing that but anyway guys I think that's the end of this video I tried not to ramble so much because that's what happened in my spider-man review one hour and a half geez I really need to try working on scripts but I really like talking from my heart, really showing how I feel, and even if I my, I change my mind, I want to share that with you guys. Like if I share my mind between recordings, that's what I want to do. So that's why uh, I try m to talk more like uh, off the bat and not uh, write scripts. But I guess that's uh, probably for the best. Uh, like to make vids, I should definitely work on that if that's the way professional YouTubers work. But that's my thoughts. Again, I'd love to. Um, talk with you in the comments uh, please share this video like uh, comment subscribe whatever if you enjoyed and I really really appreciate it if you share the word like spread the word about my channel 
uh, my vids. It really, really does help a lot. And I'm glad if you subscribe because I love meeting new people every single day uh, and meeting and talking with you guys in streams. It's always fun. And uh, make sure to subscribe for more Spider-Man, uh, Marvel Spider-Man stuff in general, because for now that's really what my attention is on. I'm currently working on a Lego Batman movie, so if you're hyped for that, follow me on Twitter and here. And uh, I'm done promoting myself, I'm sorry. I uh, haven't done a video in a while. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whichever. Be greater. Peace out, guys. See you next time.